When you think about good earphones, you rarely think of earphones that cost $10 or even less. But these V Monks promise just that for what, $5 shipped from China to the US? So is there any good? Well, you gotta keep watching to find out. Let's start off with the design of these earphones. So it's a pretty basic design. I mean, it's a cheap earphone from a company called Venture Electronics. It's super cheap, you can tell. All right, it's cheap, glossy red plastic on the earphones. It's a earbud kind of de design, doesn't go into your ear. And the ear tips are small, thin foam tips that tear super easily, which is why they give you three pairs, by the way. The ear tips are blue and red for left and right, respectively. And there's a black cable that is not detachable, which terminates in a right angle 3.5 millimeter connector. And that's about it for design. And in terms of packaging, there's nothing crazy there because it literally comes in a little bag, a plastic bag that's about this size and the earphones and the ear tips are in it. That's all. It's really, really cheap feeling. But that's not what makes a earphone because what makes a earphone is a sound. Now, before I talk about the sound, here's a quick side story about these earphones, the backstory. So these are made by Venture Electronics, a Chinese OEM. And what they do is make cheap earphones for companies uh, that make music players to put as a freebie inside their box, beside their MP3 player or their music player. And because these earphones were very popular with these music player companies, all the files who were fiddling around with cheapo Chinese music players uh, realized that these earphones were pretty common and actually sounded pretty good under one condition. They needed a lot of power. So if you were to run them from a crappy audio source, say a low-end smartphone, then the V monks would sound terrible. I mean, they'll sound average. They'll sound like $10, okay? They'll sound like Apple earbuds. They won't sound amazing. They were very muddy and crappy. But the moment you gave them amping or enough wattage at a good enough audio source, so you run them off a LG quad deck phone or a MacBook Pro or a dedicated amp and that combo, then these earphones will suddenly wake up and the thing is, with these earphones, it's not just about volume because increasing the volume doesn't mean you increase the amount of power you're delivering to the earphones. Increasing the volume just increases voltage or current or something like that. I'm not an uh, engineer, so I don't know. But I just know that there's a difference between increasing power and increasing volume. And the VE monks don't just need volume, they need a lot of, lot of power. So when you delivered the VE monks with a lot of power, they would suddenly come alive and sound really, really awesome. So I bought the earphones and tested out myself with the Fire Q1 dedicated deck amp combo and just basically turned on high gain and max volume and stuff like that to find out whether the VE monks sounded that good. And after a bunch of listening tests with a variety of music um, from indie pop, rap, hip hop, um, jazz, rock, pop rock, Frank Sinatra here and there, a bit of classical here and there. Here are my results. So the V monks, well, the sound signature is pretty fun. It's warm, it's very nice and deep. There's a lot of emphasis on bass and lower mids. So if you're listening to a male vocals or hip hop or rap or whatnot, those will sound awesome on these earphones because of a huge emphasis on those parts of the sound signature. And the higher mids are still there. I mean, they're still there, they're still okay, but there's a lot more emphasis on the lower end. The treble is okay, I guess. There's no sibilance, there's no sss, you know. There is no kind of annoying sounds in the treble. It's actually pretty clear and it's pretty detailed, but the treble is not as strong or long lasting as the bass. The, there's a problem with the bass though. I feel there's a bit too much emphasis on the mid bass when it comes to the easier phones, making the sound a bit bloated and a bit muddy for my tastes. But if you're listening to like rap and you're trying to get hyped and stuff, the sound will be, it'll be awesome for rap and hip hop. Overall though, the sound quality is actually superb for $10. There is plenty of separation, at least enough for this price range. There is awesome um, sound stage because of the fact that it doesn't go into your ear I feel like the sound stage is a lot more open than a usual in-ear monitor like the Audio-Technica ADH E40s or KZZS trees They sound a lot more open and the surround sound in there the stereo effect was also very nice There was plenty of separation between the sounds You can tell the difference between distinct instruments inside the song especially if it's like Beatles a day in a life where you can hear the whole orchestra around you. It sounds superb, especially for $10, remember. And overall, 
I'm super happy with the audio quality from these earphones. So I guess that's that for these earphones. Are they worth it for $10? Well, if you have a device that is really capable of outputting an awesome audio quality source, then these earphones sound absolutely amazing. If you say have an LG G6 with a quad deck or LG V30, V20, V10, um, you have the HTC 1M8, 1M9 which had super awesome decks in them, or you had the MacBook Pro, or you have a dedicated music player like the Fio X1, X3, then or maybe you have an external deck M already like the Fire Q1 which I reviewed like last week, then the V mounts will be awesome. They're $10 and they sound great, they're fun to play with, they're cheap, you can throw them around. They're $10, they're really good with all with a good source. But if you don't really have a good audio source, well, you probably should look elsewhere. Like the KZDS3s that I reviewed a couple of weeks earlier, those sound superb and they don't need like a crazy good audio source. On the other hand, VE monks need a lot of amping to sound good. But if they have good amping, they're probably better than a lot of the $50, $60 earphones out there right now. So I guess that's it for this review. If you guys enjoyed it or found it helpful, definitely like and subscribe. If you didn't, it's fine. If you want to, follow me on Twitter and Instagram, link in the description below if you, if you want to. Thanks for watching and goodbye.